Hey YouTube, this is Itchy, and I want to just bring you up to date on some of the RAD levels that are coming in today. Uh, looks like they're coming in a bit high in this section of the country and along the edge of this jet stream we've been watching. And I also wanted to share with you this press release, and I'll put a link to this PDF underneath the video. Um, apparently there had been some type of emergency declared at the Fukushima plant on December the 7th that was reported by Potter Blog today and in response or uh, the following day TEPCO uh, released this statement saying that they had some uh, emergency nighttime training that was conducted on the 7th so I'm going to be looking back at the cameras I do recall though um, the 5th of December was the day that uh, there were 30 plus military vans seen driving into the plant and on the 7th there were uh, between 70 and 80 cement trucks that were visualized going into the plant and we have not learned what those cement trucks were doing. This is the current uh, water vapor analysis from the University of Washington School of Meteorology and here's this edge that we've been watching. This is where it was this afternoon. And I want to bring your attention again to the uh, Los Angeles, San Diego area. There were some offshore uh, winds that uh, seemed to be laden with fallout over the past two days, um, which caused the San Diego graphs to go up. And today, a poster on Any News, who is a certified nuke worker, and has been uh, checking, doing air monitoring with his gamma spectrometer, which is a very expensive instrument. Um, he's recording levels about 15 times over uh, the background levels that he's been measuring since March the 20th. So they, they are higher today than they have been since March 20th. I'm going to keep my eye on any news to see what other kind of uh, radiation monitoring data gets posted today and the EPA graphs will refresh after midnight so I'll take a look at those. Um, this area seemed to have stalled as it came down through Reno yesterday. Um, it looked like it was going to go further south and east however it just kind of sat here and if this air was full of fallout um, it dosed a lot of these areas uh, multiple times by sitting over here um, the graphs are higher in Arizona today and in New Mexico, and I was concerned about that. Um, Tennessee and Kentucky, I had also uh, warned, might be affected by this. Um, however, a lot of those graphs aren't working, so um, I don't really know how much fallout was in this area. But this area did move through to the East Coast, and... We'll have to just see what the graphs show after midnight. Another area that I'd be concerned with, um, in addition to the 10 cities, I'm going to read uh, Salt Lake City uh, came in high again today, and it's kind of centered over this uh, weak air mass. I did talk to my daughter who lives here, and she said that they have um, some pollution warnings going on right now. Uh, very bad smog and so forth in the area. So these are the graphs. I lined them up so we can just go through them quickly. Again, 300 is the danger level, and that's where Fort Smith, Arkansas was reading today. Phoenix, Arizona, about 370. Yuma, 350. Bakersfield coming in high again around 450. Los Angeles 200. I wanted to include this since it's uh, near that uh, air mass that's reading high from San Diego. Denver, Colorado uh, spiked up to 500 and then had a little bit of a drop. Idaho Falls 400. 
in Wichita, uh, 250. Albuquerque, 200. Reno, just under 350. And then um, there are two other cities that won't uh, fit on the top of my toolbar here. Salt Lake City, as I mentioned, and Amarillo, Texas. I'm also getting um, reports of uh, multiple tweets today indicating that there has been some uh, rampant nosebleeds going on in the UK. And I'm trying to get verification of that right now. And I'm going to trace back the air mass um, seven days and see, try to corroborate it with wind speeds and so forth and find out uh, what day that release would have come from the plant and what was going on there on the cameras. So um, I'll put that report out later today. Everyone stay safe and please inform anyone that you know that lives in these areas that there are air quality issues and um, uh, filtered water is going to be really important over the next few days, especially if you have rainfall in these areas because after it's in the water it, it, or after it's in the air it gets into the water supply. Um, you can buy reverse osmosis water at your grocery store for 39 cents a gallon if you bring your own container and anyone who has young children or is mixing baby formula right now or is pregnant should be using that water exclusively and um, I use that water too to make coffee and for uh, rinsing our mouths out after we brush our teeth Every little bit that you do might help. Stay safe, everyone.